Hi there, Chris here. So I'm gonna give my thoughts on um, jackknife pick sets. And we're gonna start real quick here with one of these. And this is gonna be like, I think these are about 10 bucks. And you pick whatever profile you wanna use to stick it out there. We'll get this going real quick. There's a deep hook, boom. And then they have a tension wrench that fits in here, which is somewhere else. And you use it and you pick, 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 pick. Well, the cheap ones are kind of thick. The shafts are kind of thick. Um, they come with a, a pretty good tension wrench. Um, so that's 10 bucks and you have this extremely well thought out tool. This is the Covert Companion, which I just showed recently. And it has the expansion set for the um, pop-out tension wrenches. And I wanted to love this. You know, anytime you buy a new pick tool, uh, you want to love it. <laughs> That's otherwise you wouldn't have pushed the button <laughs> by now. Uh, and I ended up liking it. Um, it's very well thought out, very well executed, and um, beautifully manufactured, the whole thing. My my problem with, I have a couple of problems with these style of tools. Um, one is, I like my own tension wrench, sorry. <laughs> I've, the first one of these I bent up which I'm still using, I, th I believe it's this one. No, 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 it's this big one because I, I bent it up for a Medico. Over three and a half years ago, even before I had my channel, and it might be just be a situation where you can't teach an old dog new tricks because I just, I have problems using the the other style tension wrenches. Nothing wrong with them. You see people pick <laughs> day in and day out with this style tension wrench. So it is, it that is my own personal setback on why I, I can't exactly love this. I think it's very, very cool. Um, there's always a big cool factor on these things. These things, they fold up, they sit in your pocket, you throw them in the glove box in your car, whatever, that everyday carry feel, you got it, this is what I can do. Boom, boom, boom. If I run into a lock or whatever, I'm good. And that's very cool. It's very, very, very cool. Um, like I said, this is 10, 135. This is a Southward pick pin. I, I, you see me pick a ton of locks with this in my Snowman series. Same with the multi-pick. Um, I am partial to these style of tools that, and, and here's, here's a kind of a collector's item, a Mad Bob's um, jackknife. And uh, I'm partial to these kind of tools that I can make my own style tension wrench that will fit on board. And that sits in there, it doesn't fall out. It just replaces their tension wrench. I've made one for this one that actually fits in here when it's closed up. I've made another one for this, this one. Um, say that this is about $65. It comes with, and here's the tension wrench, and that that acts as a, a little shirt pocket um, clip. And it comes with scads of profiles. There's some of them. Whoops. Goodbye. They're uh, they're pretty thin, uh, and the shafts are pretty thin, which I like. Um, I always like a, a thin shaft in my pick. If you see my everyday pick, that's what I'm looking for. That. So you can maneuver a lot of keyways with that. This comes with even um, 
at uh, I think $65, $70 range. Uh, comes with probably another, I have a packet in, in the drawers, another half a dozen pick profiles, more than that can even fit in there. So you pick and choose what you want in there. Boom, it's ready to go. So, um, that's my own personal tension. I'm not going to put that on because I want to move this video along. That's my own personal caveat on, on the tension wrenches that come with these. If I can make my own and it'll ride in it or on it, I'm a happy guy. The other thing is, with it maybe slightly the exception of this, if you're picking with a profile, I'll get a couple out here, and you want to change, um, you can't really one-handed change this. You got to stop, untension, boom. Not like when we're picking in the lab, you go, okay, this, you know, you got your tension on. Uh, I want to use a different pick. You grab it. Here, um, this one, you you can. You can flop it around and maintain your tension and use another one. These others, you can't. So that's a big drawback for me overall on these. Cool factor, way cool. Um, th that that counts for something. This, uh, some people have said, oh, well, you know, I don't want to buy stuff from lock picking lawyer. You know, he's just kind of a commercial. Well, he is. In, in a sense, but I got no problem. Um, somebody using their expertise and their experience and their smarts to uh, create a product. I think we forget sometimes, you know, people say, well, it costs an arm and a leg. I think we forget how much it, time, energy, and money it takes to actually bring a product to the market and different prototypes, all that stuff. Um, it's it's immense. It's it's almost never ending to have anybody bring one of these to the market and set it up, sell it, the whole the whole shot. My <clears throat> everyday carry. My personal preference would be get yourself a Sparrows. I I favor the Sparrows. Um, I believe it's the Tuxedo Royale. You're gonna get picks. You're going to get tension wrenches. Uh, this one isn't filled up because I use them. <laughs> if I want to use it everyday carry, I put in what I want. Boom, I'm carrying. Not much difference. I mean, they both go in your pocket. They both can be right with you. So, and I'm not pushing sparrows. I, I favor sparrows, but you could go southward. You could go um, Peterson, whatever. And get a pack, put in whatever profiles you want. If you want to put a couple of comb picks in there, do it, you know. And the advantage to that is you have your case open, you have your picks available, you're tensioning the lock, you can grab another, you can grab another profile just like we do in the lock lab to pick your lock. So that's my two cents or five cents worth on these uh, jackknife type tools. Um, they are cool and <laughs> they're very fun to mess with. So anyway, um, in the comments, put, put you're all thinking about all of these, these things that I discussed. And uh, thanks, and we will see you next time.